Hello, it's me, Andy, from Blitz Gaming. I hope you're having a great day. It's still boiling in the UK, and I am still being roasted. The aircon don't turn up until later today, so I've got to put up with it for at least another three hours. Okay, today's video, a review on a motherboard, a gigabyte motherboard. This is the LGA 1200 chop. This is the LGA 1200 socket at the end of the day. Intel's latest and greatest. And we've got, we've got the H510 chipset and the board is the H510M S2H, as I said, from Gigabyte. It's a basic motherboard at the end of the day. Nothing special. Yeah. It's almost 65 pounds, so you're not going to get anything flash with this at a day. Um, the board comes with basically, you've got a reference of board setup, a multilingual sheet, really, to so put the CPU in, get the fan, basic of the basic at a day, and this is not entirely correct. <laughs> um, but if you want the proper manual, you can download it off Gigabyte's website. So you get a back plate. And then they, a bit of a flimsy one, I have to say, it's not particularly solid. But I mean, obviously, when they, uh, it's cheap and it's expensive, they even make the back plate, or the IO shield, depending on what you want to call it. Really, cheapy, cheapy. Also comes with two SATA, black SATA cables, um, data cables, with two, with they both got 45 degrees angles um, on one end, which are over there, because I actually took them out and forgot to put them back in the box. So, Micro ATX motherboard, nothing special at all. They now it comes with PS2. I'm not quite sure what I put them on. There's obviously somewhere in the industry I still want to use PS2. We've game got VGA, the home user, we're never going to use them. DVI, yeah, we can still use DVI. And then they we got the display port and HDMI. Now, if I was going to do a budget motherboard, personally, I would have these taken off. I don't know how much they cost to put on. But um, they say that's ten pound. They say well, it's ten pound cheaper for the end user. At the end of the day, so we've got USB two, USB three point two, USB two again. So four USB two sockets, two USB three point two, one gig of data. Yeah, again, that'd be nice if that was up to at least two point five, or even better if it was ten gig. Sound, microphone, front speakers, back speakers. Yes, it um, doesn't come with subwoofer and all that's the other stuff you get these days on a decent sound setup. You've got the audio header, communication port, serial, again, somewhere in the industry it's being used. Uh, what's the next one? Uh, there is a LED, LED uh, four pin LED. Um, if you want to put obviously RGBs in, you've got a TPM. Now, obviously, we need TPM at the end of the day uh, for Windows 11 when it comes out sometime this year. And we will set that up uh, sometime this week or next week running Windows 11 at the end of the day because. Um, now we haven't got the module, but the actual process that we're putting in there, which is going to be a Pentium Gold. Yeah, Pentium Gold, I'm talking about basically the basic, goes with the basic motherboard. That does come with a built-in TPM as well. So, problem solved. Then we've got USB 2 headers, times 2. And then we've got the front header jacks for obviously speakers, which... 
No, I can't remember the last time I see a case with a speaker built in. So, but it obviously is somewhere, somewhere along the line. Obviously for the reset button, start button, and then day in and the lights. We go around the other side, we got a USB 3.2, and then they, now, port's nice and big, the actual head of itself, what you plug in, is awful, it's too big, too clunky, and you can break the socket. We've got four SATA ports, and then they, um, we've got another, we've got there, we got fan header, and then they and also got a fan header there, so we've got and one for the CPU. So it's one for the CPU, two fan headers uh, for the system, 24 pin power, and then they only two DDR4 sockets. Well, we are on the basic and the basic, and then they um, we obviously got an eight pin, yeah, not two four pins, we have an eight pin socket. For the CPU power. It also comes with an M2, now uh, being 1200 socket and a latest socket, it also supports MVM and it's on PCI Express 4, which is a, a bonus. You only get the one socket, but I know one's better than none at the end of the day. Now, you also might, if you see on the camera, we also got that on this board, we sort of have a screw. To lock in the M2 or the MBM drive, we've got like a plastic holder clip, a bit different. 12 side miss, so it comes with one PCI Express 16 lane and two times PCI Express time one. It's got one passive cooler on the chipset, um, and it's got four for the top and four at the bottom. I mean, cooling wise, it's nothing at the end of the day. But as I said, we're going to put in a bench of gold, which is basically the, the bottom of the stack at the end of the day. Um, so I don't expect it to throttle or overheat in any way. Now, you probably get one with an i3. I think if it went i5, you might see thermal throttling on this system. And they should put a real big fan in. Might solve the problem. But um, I may get an i5 to test it out to see how much it thermal throttles. But I do know, I have seen reviews on the next version up from this, the next chipset. Uh, people were saying they were thermal throttling on the i5s. So if the next chipset is throttling, this is about a throttle at the end because this is the bottom of the range. So, but at the end of the day, the entire build we're putting in is, I think, £330. At the end of the day, that's a full build from scratch. Now, that's not include, including a graphic card, but we do have an AMD 550. Now, if you include that as well, we're talking £400. Ready to go and play basic games at 720 1080p. And then they now I have got benchmarks, I've already benchmarked this board and then they with the IGP and the 550. Yeah. The 550 with the 550 comes out nice. The IGP, that's a bit of a disaster, you don't want to go there. <laughs> have a laugh at the video I put together at the end of the day. Now I have done obviously it's in a bench test, and we run it on a loop for half an hour, and it never thermal throttled the, uh, the Benjamin Gold at all. It ran out full throttle for the full 30 minutes. So, can't complain out of that, that side at all. And if you want to see the, the benchmark, I should put it on the screen now. At the end of the day. So there's the board. And today, it's um, as I said, sixty-five pound. Basic of basic. At the end of day, you can't get cheaper really. At the end of day, I think it's it's value for his money. You can't get 
anything. Like I said, the only bad thing about it, it doesn't come with USB-C, which I thought was a bit of a, a sod, really, being USB-C is here, and this is the latest and the greatest um, mobiles going. So I'd expect USB-C. So but it doesn't come with USB-C. I was. I hope you enjoyed the review. At the end of the day, that is on the Gigabyte 510M S2H. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Andy out. Have a great day.